Olympics tomorrow from half past six on the BBC News Channel. A book can lead us to new worlds and experiences. But how can the words take us back to the ideas that brought it into being? How can the book guide us to the one who gave it shape and character? How can it show us the inspiration? Learn more about the book. Discover the writer who created it. We'll introduce you on Meet the Author, Thursday at 8.45 on the BBC News Channel. Tonight to 10, a sweeping review of university funding in England amid concerns about the level of tuition fees. The system in England is one of the most expensive in the world, raising major concerns about levels of affordability. The Prime Minister, who says tuition fees will not be scrapped, says there needs to be a new look at the funding system. Our goal is a funding system which provides value for money for graduates and taxpayers. So the principle that students, as well as taxpayers, should contribute to the cost of their studies is an important one. We'll be asking what the review might produce, and we'll be looking at systems in other countries. Also tonight, a university lecturer from Birmingham is jailed for 32 years, and described as one of the worst paedophiles ever found on the web. Every year, millions of newborn babies around the world fail to live for more than a month, but most of those deaths, say UNICEF, are preventable. World number one for Canada, can he do it? Oh, it's a dead heat! It At the Winter Olympics, heat. for the first time in 20 years, the gold medal has to be shared in the two-man bobsleigh. And it's a crisis at KFC, the fried chicken chain that's run out of chicken. And coming up on Sports Day on BBC News, has Will Grigg fired Wigan to another upset over Manchester City and a place in the FA Cup quarter-finals? Good evening. There's to be a sweeping review of university funding in England in the light of growing